Finance and its market weekly updates. Price action in oil over last week was range-bound, with the market waiting for this week's Open Plus meeting and the return of China from the Lunar New Year holidays. Markets have started this week on a firmer note. The return of China from the holidays and rising tensions in the Middle East appear to have provided some support. For now, crude oil prices are still largely mirroring microeconomic events. Oil prices had been positive through the last Thursday trading session after figures showed the U.S. GDP rose at 2.9 percent annualized pace in the fourth quarter, slightly better than expected. However, fears of the economy dipping to recession later this year still linger, as data show the U.S. business activity contracted in January for the seventh straight month. Intermon spread of major crude oil benchmarks continue to diverge from each other. NYMEX WTI first month and third month spread largely remain flat at a low level, largely because of the fact that U.S. refining is still below 15 million barrels per day and is headed to a massive round of maintenance. While IC Brent has gained upward momentum because of possible supply disruptions and ramp up in local refinery demand, JPX Dubai also spiked around the week, where driving force largely geared towards Chinese demand. During the last two weeks, growing optimism on China's recovery continued to underpin prices as mobility levels continued to ramp up during the Lunar New Year, including sharp increases in road transport and flight bookings. Domestic daily trips for the Lunar New Year holiday travel period so far are up by about 50 percent from a year ago, according to the Ministry of Transport. But even the tens of millions of trips each day is still down sharply from 2019 levels, so there is still room for growth later. According to the IEA's latest oil market report, global oil demand is set to increase by 1.9 million barrels per day year on year in 2023, with about three quarters of this rise coming from non-OECD regions. This year's oil use is now seen at 101.7 million barrels per day, 80,000 barrels per day higher than in last month's report, and an all-time high. Jet kerosene will increase by 850,000 barrels per day, which accounts for 45 percent of this year's total demand gains. So whether or not oil prices can resume their much higher will more or less depend on how quickly China's demand bounces back this quarter. On the supply side, eyes on a Russian oil product embargo and the price cap issues. Ahead of the embargo set to kick in in several days, Europe continues to be the biggest buyer of Russian diesel, but it's already trending down as some buyers cut down on purchases before the sanctions deadline kicks in. Another set of data shows that total European diesel imports have been much higher over the last four months than usual, by about 400,000 barrels per day compared to October to January periods in the previous two years. This is compared to 600,000 barrels per day of diesel coming from Russia over the last four months on average. Therefore, it could be said that over the last four months, Europe has already procured replacement barrels at a rate of two thirds of the typical needs. Unlike the crude oil markets, the cessation of diesel export to its core markets could have significant impact on Russia's energy flows, possibly shutting in refinery operations and reduction in crude oil production. IEA expects that around 1.6 million barrels a day of oil supply, either in the form of product or crude, will be shut in versus pre-invasion levels by the end of the first quarter of 2023. On the other hand, there's little room for the U.S. refineries to ramp up further in 2023, while refineries in the Middle East as well as China are expected to step in to cater for the growth in refined product demand, more than offsetting forecast declines in Russia. Elsewhere on the supply side, volumes should remain steady as the Open Plus are likely to endorse the group's current output levels at its February 1st meeting. So the well supply oil balance at the start of 2023 could quickly tighten, however, as Western sanctions impact Russian exports. Markets east of the Suez Canal is likely to tighten even faster than the West. This should be supportive for the Middle East Dubai benchmark. Okay, that's all we have for this week. Welcome back next week.